I'm not a big fan of um, of any of the new gods at all. The only one that I like is Mr. Miracle. So when I started reading Mr. Miracle, this isn't Mr. This isn't Mr. Miracle. This is a this is just a messed up version of Mr. Miracle. If you read the first Dark Knight Metal, Mr. Miracle, well, that you're good for you. That was garbage. But the beginning, Mr. Miracle was in it, and. That was the Mr. Miracle that I know that I liked of Mr. Miracle, not Tom King Mr. Miracle. They're right. two different, they're like two different characters, totally two different characters. Right. So maybe they'll kill him and he'll be gone. Yeah, so so I was I was happy. I mean, so I was happy when I saw him and and that it was only in one issue though. But I saw him that's all right, Mr. Miracle. I was excited, you, you know. Excited, huh? yeah. 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 Hey, how's it going, Jim? What the amazing Spider Man right there. Three sixteen? That's the one. Yeah. Hopefully it's him over here. Number one? Yep. You got it. And I would like this. I'd like to put them all, like your 15 bucks to put them down. Sure. Yep, we can do that. So it's going to be $60 total. Sweet. Yep, and I'll put them aside. I'll put them back over here, side Perfect. over here for you. Like thank we usually you. do. Yep. Yep. All right. Thank you. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can really do with these. Oh, really? Um, well, you know something? I mean, I could offer you like 30 bucks because they're used. Some of them aren't in great shape. I have all the Sandman. I have all the Fables. I have those all pristine, brand new, you know? Yeah. So for something like this, they're just going to go on a markdown rack. So That's fair. A friend of mine donated to them Donated them to me before I moved. I moved literally 1,000 miles from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Yeah. So it would have gotten no use by me, unfortunately. So, okay. so uh, someone will probably get some use out oh, of Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put them out for like three to five bucks on the on my used on my used rack and yeah. uh, someone will you know someone that I mean it's a cheap read now, you know? It's yeah. uh yeah. Yeah, so yeah I can do like thirty bucks. Perfect. Okay. And I'll get this and okay. uh can you do the rest cash? Yeah, sure can. We're done. Yep. All right. Piece of cake. Very simple. What's what's missing off the wall right now? See? You see? You see? Yeah. There it is right there. Perfect example. Someone took it. Did you take it, Glenn? Yeah, it's right over here. Guy actually put a down payment on it. He's picking the rest of it up next week. No, sir. Yeah. Well, thankfully, you have another one in here. I always have a plan B. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you're looking at another one. Oh, no way. I'm thinking about the wrong one. No, Shit. yeah, yeah, no. It's this one here. The, it's this amazing Spider Man with Venom on it. $40, right? Yeah, it's 30 now. <laughs> no way. Seriously? You oh, gave me 10 you? Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Thank oh, you. well, it's all good. Jim Lee is coming to Boston Comic Con this year. This is the last metal yeah. book. I'm gonna have him sign one through six because this is his cover. Yeah. This this will easily come back as like really good grade. I'm so stoked. Glenn is the freaking man. Whew. This is fire. Look at that. And he knows I'm a variant collector. And some people may say that variants are gonna kill the industry. Nah, if anything, it's helping it. Because it's, look at that, I'm spending more money than, you know. The default cover is this one, right here. And I'm buying these additional ones with it, you know what I mean? It's a great, 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 great thing. That's a nice cover too, I like that. The, the, the people that are saying, in my opinion, a lot of people can't be bothered with it. And I totally understand why, you know. It's, it's you're spending more money for the same story. But I'm into comics, yeah, for the story. But I also like the cover art. You know, these, these... These artists, they work really hard on this, you know? And Jim Lee, for example, he's a legend in the game. And now I finally have a complete set that he's done. So one through six and all the side stories too, I got all of them. But this one, this one's this this one's tough to get. No store, I'm pretty sure no store has this in stock. So yeah, man, some some people too, they say that because they can't afford it. Some of these variants are expensive and it is what it is, you know? So you're either about it or you're not. I am clearly. I have a huge variant collection in my in my boxes at home. Excuse me. So, Dodson, mm -hmm. Roberto Ramos. I got an Avengers. Mm, and these here too. Yep. But this is all the same, right? Yeah, those are all the same. That black and white's killer. Right? Is yeah, that? that black and white venom is fire. <sighs> wow, that's killer. Did you want it, buddy? No, no. Good. I got one more. I got another one behind the counter. So no, it's uh, yeah. I, I was just, I was just. Throw it in my box. You know, yep. right. It's not nothing yep. major. Man. Yeah, I know how you like. I know how you like some cover art. Oh, you know, yeah. it's. Uh, Thank so. you. See, he knows cover yeah. art is my thing. Yeah, love it, love it. I'll throw it. that back on the. I'll throw that yeah. back. Right. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll just give you one from down there. I can't do it. Yep. Love it, love it, love it. You know, I love to go to crowded theaters. Exactly. That was one of my favorite things. Yep. Sit with sit with a bunch of yahoos. That a uh, bunch of yahoos. I don't know shit about what they're watching. I I I actually like that better. 
I actually like that better because there's, you don't listen to them cry that this isn't like the comic. This is a, they just watch it enjoying a movie yep. for what it is. That's in. Well, Thanos actually never did this. Don't care. That this is the movie. This isn't the comic. Yeah. No. So, yeah, I'd actually, I'd rather actually sit around a bunch of yahoos that don't know anything because they actually just shut up and they watch the movie. <laughs> you know, you don't listen to them complain about something not yeah. being something not being right. You know. Yeah. 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 Got forty-two. Easy. Thank you, sir. I am in love with this cover. They don't know that's existed. They do now. Point that out. I know you love cover art. Yeah. That's what it is. I love my cover art. That's my thing. Love, 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 love it. You know what I got? I forgot to bring it. I forgot to bring it in today too. Um, Incredible Hulk 181. No. I'm finally gonna sell it to me. No. Damn it. <laughs> I don't own one. I don't own one. You don't really? No way. I never bought one. I wasn't. I, I, I wasn't. I really didn't care about Wolverine. So I didn't. You know, it's. Yeah. Uh, um, and at the time, um, I wasn't doing. A, I wasn't thinking about doing a Hulk run. So I never. Yeah. I never. I never bought it. Um, I only buy, I buy stuff that I like, yeah. you know, I don't buy stuff just because there's value to it yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So I wasn't a big fan of, I mean, I like Wolverine, but I didn't care about owning this first appearance or whatever. So I never bought it. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, um, that book has always been expensive too, right? Since it came out. Oh yeah. But I mean, when, when I was able to buy it, when I was collecting before I opened the store, you able to buy them for, you know, 150, 200 bucks, you know, it's now you're talking 900, yeah. thousand. right. Oh. No, I forgot to, um, I forgot to bring in that, uh, I found that what if book. No, the, with the Venom What If book, yeah. yeah, I had it in my collection, and I pulled it out. And I left it on. I left it on the side, and I and I last week when you didn't come in, I said, "Oh, good, I'll make sure I bring it in this week." And I to I, I totally forgot it. You really do have it? No. Oh my God! See, he does <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> all the time. He always does that. Oh my God! Man. But every so often, I am telling the truth, and other times I'm telling, um, what do I call it? A fictional story. <laughs> <laughs> a fictional Wait, story. I'm never lying to you. Yeah. I'm telling a fictional story. Yep. That's what I sell in here are fictional stories, and sometimes that's what I tell. And it's just a it's just a matter of can you decipher what's the fictional story and what's not? Because I say it with a straight face yep. either either way. Yep. If I reviewed this book, if I reviewed this mm -hmm. in nineteen ninety when I read it, besides the artwork still looking like a bunch of crap. Mm -hmm. Um, I would have I would have given it a, an awesome review. Mm -hmm. Going back to reread re it and, and read it now, it's not that good. Uh, I would put Long Halloween over that. Oh, Long Halloween by far was by by yeah. far better than this book. What did you What about Hush? Would you put Hush over that? Oh yeah, and no, I, I was I in, and, Hush. And, and I wasn't a huge fan of Hush. Really? And, but I, I would put it. it I would put it over this. One of my favorite Batman stories is Cataclysm mm -hmm. and No Man's Land. Yeah. No Man's Land went over a year through all the Batman books and. You couldn't get enough of it. Yeah, I mean, you were happy to read other books that you weren't even reading just to get some more of that story. It was a great concept. Yeah, it was, sure was. Um, but well, yeah, Nightfall. Well, Nightfall. I put over this too. Really? Yeah, yeah. I put this over Nightfall. Yeah, I can't even read this anymore. It's so dated. It's not even. I don't even yeah. think it's readable anymore. I have never tried to reread it. Oh, last. Well, well. So you, so you, so you're reading it on your. You're reading it on your first time reading. Of... I didn't read it for the first time until probably I would say, two thousand. Five. Okay. That was probably the first time I read it. Yep. So, and I, I, I loved it. I think it's overrated. Where people put it in the upper echelon of, yeah. Yeah. of, um, of, of Batman stories. But I who, think who's it's putting it in the upper echelon of Batman stories now? People older. Yeah, I don't see any 20 something saying that this is some of the greatest books no? ever. No. Hmm. No, it's, uh, it's older. It's the same 40s, 50s. The, you know, the, the, the guys that think that the, the Golden Age, Silver Age stuff is the best comic book stuff that ever came out. Exactly. And Those it's, right. most of it's garbage. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I I do yeah, I do think I guess it is overrated. I think I think what it is too is is a lot of us just have this, you know, like nostalgia for it. That's exactly it. Yeah. You had that nostalgia. It was just so you remember edge it for the time. That's it that's like, it. It was wow, cutting edge for the time. Is, this is crazy. Yep. And even the artwork, like as much as, as I don't think it's necessarily terrible. I think the second, the the, the second um, book of this was, was it that part was two or whatever. Yeah. Then the artwork just goes off the deep it end. It does. But yep. this, I feel, is good enough, and it was so different at the time yep. that there wasn't really anything like that. I mean, this is this was Frank Miller at his best artwork. Yeah. Oh but yeah. But you know something. Far. But what's funny though, that's Frank Miller at his, at his best artwork. This was hit him at his best artwork. Yeah, yeah. There was still a ton more better artwork out there than this. Yeah. When did this come out? 1986. Yeah. So yeah, so this I didn't read was... into the early '90s. I didn't read That's into the early '90s. Yeah, yeah, hmm. yeah. But I never read it when it first came out. 
Yeah, because as we went through the list, I was like, oh, I like all those all those other Batman books a lot more than mm -hmm. a lot more than this. Yeah, I can actually go over and look at more Batman stuff and find more yeah. stories that I like that I like better than this. Mm. I mean, granted, this is groundbreaking. This yeah. changed the whole scope of Batman, mm -hmm. but that was it for its time. Yeah, you know, now now there's just there's a when lot. When did the Killing Joke come out? That was in the eighties. I in think the eighties too, right? So yeah, it was after this though, right? I think so. Because I like that better than this too. I do too. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I think this is actually an overrated book. Yeah, I think it's overrated. Don't talk I, to him about it. I still that, like it. It's he the greatest book. It? No, it's a great, great yeah. Greatest yeah, book he, ever? He still masturbates to it. Oh, God. Yeah, to so the book. parts with the, with the girl with the Nazi boobs? Yeah. Now, let's go from this book. Because, I mean, now they've had two sequels to it. Right. They, they, they just had the one that just came out, the Master Race oh, one, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I actually didn't but like that. I, I wouldn't even pick it up. No. Uh, it, after reading the second one, I don't think anyone should have ever bought the third one. The second one was the worst piece yeah. of drivel that, that that was ever out. Thank you. I did not like the second one. Yeah, the second one was... But I did um, like the third one. With the Especially with the TV people, too, was the most mm. irritating. If, if you took out... I actually ripped out on, on the third issue. First of all, you had to wait a year. It was a year late. You know, you got three or four issues. You couldn't even get it out on time. Mm -hmm. um, and the artwork went down. Was definitely downgraded from what what this was. Um, but his the artwork in the third one. And the, oh, the second one. Oh, the second oh, one. Was, yeah, 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 yeah. Big time. Uh, but his um, if you had gone through and I did, on the third issue that I did, my brother goes, "I'm not reading the last issue." I go, he goes, this is crap. And, and I had already read it. I says, well, here. And I ripped out a ton of pages. I go, if you just, I was like, on, if you just read this. It's, it, this is a good story. Take the rest of this. I've already ripped out the pages that you don't need to read. And he read it. He goes, oh, that wasn't that bad. You know, it's right. There was like 12 pages. That's from volume two, from the second one? The second from, one, from, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, from the second one. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Hey, sweetie. So this stuff with the Joker is what really got me. I got to this point, and, and he's, I'm going to kill everyone in this room. And he calls it. Because before I read this, I read I read comics, but mostly I only read Marvel stuff, and it was mostly only X Men stuff, mm -hmm. really, um, and Avengers. Like I didn't really get into DC, and this was what kind of opened the door to DC for me. So all I knew was the Batman TV show, and yep. this Joker was, you know, he was kind of harmless, really. Oh yeah. And I and I get to I this, and I'm time. like, oh, and he does, he kills everybody in the room, and I'm just like, oh my god, this is one of the scariest villains that I've ever seen anywhere, and that's what kind of like really hooked me on this one, because most of the book at a lot of it, I was just like, I don't really even get what's going on. I don't really understand what's happening until later on. I was, I started. Batman's going old, again. retired, old, yeah. retired. Hey, I'm gonna come back out every time. Well, now the Joker shows up, and yeah. you know he's the blame for. Well, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have all this. Right. So even with with what this brought later on for for great great Batman stories, you still think it's overrated? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. I give it credit that it was groundbreaking. The doors it opened. Right. It was yeah. groundbreaking. But once it opened that door, that stuff dwarfed what this oh, is. Oh yeah. You know, oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. I agree. Uh, to me, like I said, it's not rereadable. I can't I can't read that again. Like I said, it's been a long time since I read it, so I don't remember all the mm. I don't remember all the the minor details mm. the minor details of it. Hmm. But I, it it doesn't bring me to want to look at it again either though. Yeah, you know, it's I don't remember, I remember reading and thinking this is important. Like, I, it's important that I'm reading this. Right. In my, my, ski, my world of comics, like, I need to read this. It's very important. But I don't remember really enjoying it. I remember, I remember thinking, like, I, I, I like what I'm reading. It's, it's, it's critical to what I need to, to, the, to the history of the character and really to, like, the end of the character. People should still read it. Yeah. Take, make yeah. an opinion themselves of it, yeah. but I mean, it, it was groundbreaking, and mm. it did open doors for other for other darker Batman stories mm -hmm. and whatnot. But um, yeah, I just mm. I can't. Doesn't hold up. No, not at all. Mm. Not at all. I think that's, that's really the problem. Yeah, it's definitely dated. It's it just doesn't hold yeah. up, and, and everything else just with so much great stuff that's come out that's dwarfed it. Yeah, that that's just kind of where it's at. Too bad. Yep. Still important though. Oh yeah. Still very important. Hello, come to Palace. You didn't get this already? No, I missed okay. it. Is it good? Right now, I'm interpreting what's going on. Not quite, not even quite sure. <laughs> you know, it's, I think two stories are being told. Yeah. Um, and one's about the, one's about some clown picking up trash in the city, like picking up pieces of things that he feels important. Mm -hmm. Um, and he seems like he's OCD or whatever. Okay. Another one is about some priest or whatever. Um, 
I don't. I actually don't know where he is. But he he, he goes out in the field, and all of a sudden, this black barn shows up. Really? Right? And what I'm getting, what I'm thinking of, is now something happens to the barn, but you don't know because it's it's two different stories. I actually think this guy's if he's picking up nails. I think he's picking up pieces to the barn in the city. Yeah, you, you know. Oh, so, so it's like what different time periods, but they're in the same place. But on different, maybe you know, it's uh, yeah, except maybe. Lemire, man. Who yeah, knows? Yeah. I'm not quite sure. I mean, you got you got this guy here. You got some psycho mm. ghost priest or whatever going going on in here. And this is so, scare me. Yeah, yeah. So that's <laughs> it's you know the guy goes down. He just this barn just shows up in the middle of the. Mm. Well, you got this, but again, you got this other guy who's. Who's in here just uh, walking around? He's picking up. There's a piece of wood. Mm. He's picking up a piece of wood. And I think this could be in this nail. I think it could be from the barn. Interesting. Looks like a. But I'm not quite sure. Yo, so look, he's got them all in jars. Mm. This is going to freak In me the out. street on where he found the, the pieces, too. Oh. So, yeah. We'll analyze it. Yeah. We'll, we'll see how it holds up 30 yeah. years from now. <laughs> I finally fired this book. Batman? Yep. Tired of the love story, huh? Tired of Tom King, too. He's on the shit list now, too. <laughs> He's right with Scott Snyder. They're buddied up. Yeah. Yeah, I think I really enjoyed this book. This analog yeah. book I, I thought was really good. This one's okay. Yeah. Jury's still out. Jury's out on this one. Um, see where it goes. Mm. But I really, really enjoyed the analog book. Good. I'm in the mood for some funky stuff. So we got a uh, 49. Oof. Wow, look at that. Dad was good to you, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, her mom. <laughs> yeah. What, did my dad come in and buy it? Or did my mom? No, your father was in. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Can we get a little extra time? No, oh, I like I it. Because, get, I get it done. Because it's a lot of times it's it's the shit that's holding me up from do, from finishing up my order. And it's like, I'm like, oh my God, I wish these people would just bring in their friggin', bring in their shit. Fired this. Fired this, fired this. I haven't, uh, I haven't disliked this, the Batman White Knight, but just, I've just stopped caring. So, yeah, I read the first five issues and I've had enough. Had a little firing, uh, firing party this week. Backways got fired. Um,. I'll get fired this week. There's a couple. There's a couple of um, aftershock books that, that came out and got fired. Patroff is a good book. I like the first issue. Yeah, I fired that too. Patroff got got fired. Um. And maybe there's the only. No, there's one more. I still read Monster Mechanica. I like. That's that's the one I, I kept. I like I like that book. Monster oh. Mechanica. Yeah, that's a good book. Yeah. Oh, it's yep. good. Well, it's all right. It's got the, all, all the classical people in it. It's got the robots. Yeah. Right up your alley, dude. But you know something? I've never been a fan of like some of the Da Vinci stuff. You know, like that uh, the shield that Hickman did with with Da Vinci. I didn't I didn't like I didn't like that. But yep, yeah, that was um, yeah. I read that. That was good. Aftershock's a good company. I think I think more people need to read some of that. I need to read some of that Aftershock stuff. I got to try to get you into it nice and early. I've been reading it nice and early because it's been interesting enough stuff. Rough Riders and Animosity. Am I the only one they ordered them at first? Yep. Yep, Rough Riders and Animosity was is what really got me into it more though. And um I mean, I'll read anything I mean, you know, I'll try anything with uh what's his name? Uh with Garth and that's right. And he's got a new one coming. They did a pro preview on one of them too. Okay, yeah. That's good. Oh what now it's crazy? You lunatics better know what you're doing. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was all right. I don't know what anyone's expecting of it. I got exactly what I expected. Not I much, like, you know. Expecting it's... the Avengers. I'm not. First of all, Justice League isn't even near as good as the Avengers in comics or anything. The Avengers are by far better than the, by far better than the Justice League. It's a flagship, man. It's all the characters all yeah. in one movie. Well, the flagship with some supposedly with good actors too. Right. They're, they're, but their flagship, whether it's in the comics or in the movie, is less. Uh, the Avengers is a higher flagship than than Justice League. I haven't. Yeah, I mean, I I've read more. I've read more, more um, Avengers books and stories that that were a lot better than most Justice League stories oh, ever. I didn't expect the Justice League movie to even be better than the Avengers movie, or even compared. No, to if it. I if I was if it was something that was just made for TV or directed 
DVD movie, I would have enjoyed it more than going to the theater and plopping down. Oh, spending, I didn't go to the theater. I know you did. I, I know you didn't. But go. I went. I saw that. I saw that in IMAX. At Jordan's IMAX. Oh, there you go. You're so, the dumb one that did that. I waited for the DVD and I enjoyed myself. You know, it's uh. Yeah. That it would be, and I wouldn't Josh Whedon did it. I'm like, you know, hey, listen, maybe he saved it. Nope. No, I, I didn't. Gosh. I didn't mind it. I, I thought. I thought it was better. It was one of the better DC movies done. I mean, not Wonder Woman was by far a lot better, but it's better than Batman, Superman. It's better than Superman. Um, Man of Steel was. I like. Man, I, not that I loved Man of Steel. I thought that was still. Which one was Man of Steel? That's the la the last the, the first Superman movie that they did. The one the one where he fought Zod or the yeah I like that one too yeah I like that one I liked it better than the one before that. The one where he was the stalker. Oh Superman Returns. Yeah yeah, yeah that, that that's that's from that's in the old that's no. the old one stuff so, yeah. Some people think that one's the best of all Supermans. Really. I think Man of Steel is Christopher Reeves we can't even put in the same category anymore. Oh, God, I love this Christopher Reeves. Love him. So that's, that's where we'll diverge there. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Can't watch them anymore. They're, 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 I like them as a I, kid. I rewatched them. Not yeah, long ago. yeah I, I tried. The only way I could still watch is the Zod one, the number two. It's the Did only you one. See the director's cut of that? No. Where they put in, you know, nope. I don't know, God knows how much footage. It made it, made it a much better. Don't movie. need to say it. It's a good flick. They should have showed. I hate directors that they should just show it to us to begin with. You, oh yeah. You know, they, show they, us they, the better they, film first. They took it away from the director. Oh yeah. No. So Richard Donner did the first one. And then he started doing the second one, and he got you know in a tiff with the whoever the producers were, and they said oh, they fired him, and put in I think Richard Lester to finish the movie off. So he never got a chance to finish the movie that he wanted. So they they cut like you know half a, half an hour plus of footage out, and released released it to the theaters. And I think the second one was the best was the best one anyway. Oh, yeah, so yeah. they should have made it even better. Yeah. Because you know his what he because you know, a lot of the stuff was filmed during the original Superman. They just took a lot of that footage and yeah. made it into it was basically a two part movie. I mean, even, as, even as a kid watching the original Superman movie and they did that whole spinning around time and shit, I thought it was dumb then. You know, I says, I go, and, and, and at that point, you know, because I was reading comics at the time, I was like, this is why I don't read DC, you know, DC comics, even, even of them, because that's a stupid that, shit that, that they did. That was the, back then. That was yeah. the DC comics. Right, so and that was they, the they, they, shit they, they lived did. up to what the DC, because the, the Man of Steel and all the, that stuff's not the... That's not DC. You might like it. It is DC now. It might be now, but yeah. it, it's because they informed it from the movie. Yeah, they, but it, but that's not that wasn't the. Context. It had to be. It had to be. It had to be because if you kept if you kept DC the same thing as the seventies, no one would oh, yeah. ever be reading well, it. You, you know, don't make it that hokey. But I mean, at the same time, you know, I, DC is not Marvel, like you said it yourself, and they try so damn hard to be. Just be DC. None of the characters are as good. You know, it's uh, Batman's pretty much it. Diana. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman has books. Wonder Woman, her her books go in spurts. Where you know, like even like when Greg Rucka was was writing it, and even writing. but but you know, no, even when even halfway through his writing of it, it's like okay, Greg, get off the book. I mean, it's not good anymore. Um, she doesn't have she doesn't have enough good villains for you know for for a book. I think Wonder Woman is a better supporting character. For uh, for the comics, to give a story of Wonder Woman that's six seven issues, you can do a fabulous thing. But to have to keep on continuing that all the time, well, it gets that, it gets boring. To be honest with you, that's like ninety percent of all comic characters to begin with. No. I mean, I don't need to see, I don't know, well, 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 name any of the Marvel books that they have out. You know, they're a great miniseries. Ghost Rider, right? Great miniseries. Right, 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 we don't need we don't need. Yeah, but she's one of their main characters. I so I mean, well, so what does that say about that? You know, it's. You see these godlike type characters, you know, and that that's all there is to it. But it's Batman or bust. And right now, Batman's busting. Done. <laughs>